Ben Brokti Hawa Brokapa, Yahoo Shah, Brokti Hawa Brokapa, Yahoo Shah, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Your True Leaders. My source, media takeout, article entitled, Kanye West, Rosa Parks, was a plant, published December 13th, 2022. Kanye West is in the headlines again. This time, the rapper is trending after calling Rosa Parks the civil rights icon a plant. All of these heroes, man, it's only one. That's Jesus Christ. And according to biblical doctrine, okay, Jesus Christ's true name is Yahawashai. Ha-Mashiach. Yahawashai, he is Savior for the nation of Israel, of course, beginning with the elect. Ha-Mashiach in Hebrew means the anointed, okay? You are gonna find out something about MLK, something about JFK, something about Malcolm, Rosa Parks. We know Rosa Parks was a plant, said Ye. He continued, we know all of these things and they use these media outlets to outrage. Outrage is an economy. The trauma economy. What death are we going to promote this week? It ain't like 14 people are getting killed every week in Chicago. But no, we are going to publicize this on our. I'm not going to say whose platform it is. It was the, it's like it was the so-called Jews. Okay. And according to biblical doctrine, the true Jews, okay, are modern day Negroes based on the lineage of their fathers. All right. Ye made the remarks in his clubhouse live stream with WAC 100. The platform suspended his account over his fill in the blank remarks. And not for the anti black remarks he made about Parks did Ye go too far. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, okay, beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone, we always said that, okay, Rosa Parks was set up, Malcolm X was set up, okay, King was set up. Anytime you see the media or the machine pushing an individual, and the classification of a so-called leader for our people, okay, for you so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, hey, those cats are set up, such as Ye himself, okay? He's not saying nothing new. He's not saying nothing prolific. We've been saying that via the Spirit. Okay, via the Holy Spirit. The Most High always utilizes his prophets. Okay, it's been like that in the beginning as well as the end. Case in point. Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Okay, the prophets. All right, see, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, deals with the prophets one-on-one, -on -one, okay, using the Holy Spirit to navigate, to move the mindset of the prophets, okay? And the prophets come to our people to relay the message, okay? First Samuel 9 and 9, 
Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spoke, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Okay? A seer is another title for a prophet. All right? Luke 1 and 70. And he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, since the time frame of Adam. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, utilized the prophets. Okay? The prophets are the middlemen. Okay, amongst Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and the people, point blank period. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man, referring to the prophets, the seers, Stand in great boldness via the Holy Spirit before the face of such as have afflicted him. Okay, and at this time frame, the face of such as have afflicted him that begins with the nation of Edom, beginning with their head tribe Amalek, and made no account of his labors. Okay. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, which is going into the results of the curses spoken of in Deuteronomy 28, beginning at the 15th verse, and the water of affliction, the same thing. Yet shall not your teachers, the prophets, at this time frame, that begins with the apostles of Great Millstone, right? be removed into a corner anymore now all this means in the hebrew that you will see the prophets via youtube okay and also on the highways and the byways all right be removed into a corner anymore anymore and a definition for that is uh being out of view okay but your eyes shall see your teachers not yay not Kyrie Irving not MLK okay not Malcolm X not JFK not Obama and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying this is the way now that's the Holy Spirit inspiring or compelling the elect to pay attention walk ye in it meaning what how we regulate our lifestyle by utilizing the scriptures when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left okay so when you turn to the right hand or turn to the left you're being opinionated you're being carnal Okay, that's why we use the scriptures, all right, to stay in the straight and narrow, okay? First Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. 
for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. And this is literal. However, the apostles last. Meaning what? According to the Greek. Strong's G, 2078, Eschatos. Eschatos. Which means what? Last in a series of places. Of space, the uttermost part, meaning what? In the West. In the West is the uttermost part. Okay? And according to a definition, last in time, last in series, meaning what? That the apostles will be utilized, okay, as heralds. To usher in Yahweh's second coming. Point blank period. This is Psalms 35 and verse 7. Um, let's start at verse. Verse 5. You know what? Let's start at verse 3. Psalm 35 and verse 3. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute men. Persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am your salvation. Verse 4. Let them be confounded. And put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Who is devising our hurt? Okay. The nation of Edom. As well as these other nations. Right. Verse 5. Let them be as chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord Yahweh chase them. Verse 6, let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord Yahweh persecute them. Verse 7, for without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Right, because Esau is using this system to further enslave us. As well as eradicate us from off the face of the earth. Remember, it's always about the blessing. Okay, now when we focus on net, okay, according to the Hebrew, it's Strong's H75, 68, pronounced as, pronounced as. Rashath, which means what? Of leaders leading people to sin, such as what? Your so called inspiring actors, your so called inspiring athletes, okay? Your 
so-called inspiring pastors such as Creflo, T.D. Jakes, okay? All of these niggas have been set up to what? Further promote you to walk back into Egypt from a spiritual sense and therefore it's manifested, okay, in your actions on earth, such as MLK, uh, Rosa Parks, okay, Harry, Harriet Tubman, okay, she was set up to, okay, so anybody that has a so-called special day, honoring them, Esau has set them up, okay, only the prophets have not been manipulated by the ways of Esau, therefore his gifts would not destroy the mindset or the heart of the prophets. Why? Because the prophets fear, okay, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. All right, last precept. And this is Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, Israelites, modern day Negroes, modern day Hispanics, modern day Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers. Children are their oppressors, these other nations at this time frame, beginning with the nation of Edom modern day white people based on the lineage of their fathers and women rule over them oh my people they which led you cause you to err such as MLK um, Malcolm Rosa Yay, Kyrie okay why because at the end of the day they're not bringing you through the door which is Yahweh Shah the only way to get into the house which is symbolic for Yahweh, you have to go through the door, which is Yahweh Shai. Therefore, you have to be escorted to the door by a prophet. Point blank, period. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead you, these nets, these nets cause you to err, sin, and destroy the way of your paths. Okay, now the truth paths are spoken of in Jeremiah 6 and 16. Okay, going into the ways of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.